Triple Wax Vortex Blast, a low cost snow foam that can be used in a 1 to 10 ratio. This could be an absolute bargain, but how good is it? Hi, welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this product. It's Triple Wax Vortex Blast Snow Foam. The normal price for Vortex Blast in Asda is £10 for 2.5 litres, which is a typical price for snow foam in the UK. But when Asda reduced the price to £8, I took a closer look at it. And the thing which really caught my eye was the recommended mix ratio, one part snow foam to 10 parts water. Other snow foams use one to four or one to two ratios. That makes this potentially very, very cheap. So we're gonna test it and see how good it is. We're gonna test the Vortex Blast on two cars, a Toyota Yaris and a Ford Fiesta. The Yaris is not particularly dirty, but if we zoom in on it, it looks like it's been parked under a tree. There's sap all over the roof. So it'll be interesting to see how the um, Vortex Blast gets on with that. But the real test will be the Fiesta, which is absolutely filthy. It's covered in mud from a wet weekend in Wales. This is the equipment I'm going to use. We've got a Karcher K4 pressure washer. It's a 130 bar electric pressure washer. And an MJJC Foam Cannon Pro Snow Foam Cannon. You can find reviews of both of these products on Big Ted's Home and Garden if you're interested. So this is the Vortex Storm diluted 1 to 10. You can see it's a lovely luminous pink colour. It does smell of bubble gum. I'm not quite sure why the manufacturers put these scents in, but there we go. There's 1.1 litres in this jug. There was 100 millilitres of the Vortex Storm. And then tops it up with a litre of cold water. So we're just going to connect it up to the foam cannon now. And we'll be ready to go. We'll do the Yaris first. So if we zoom in afterwards, you can see even with that 1 to 10 mix ratio, it's nice and thick. It's adhered well to the car. Let's just have a look around the other side. Okay, so even on the vertical surfaces, you can see it's running a bit. But it's still nice and thick. It looks pretty good to me. So I left the snow foam to do its work on the Yaris and then coated the Fiesta. You can see we've got very similar results. Again, nice and thick. It's adhered well to the surface. And then if we go back to the Yaris, you can see even after a few minutes, there's still plenty of snow foam on the surface. It's run off a bit. So let's rinse it off and see how it's gotten with that tree sap. And we'll rinse off the Fiesta as well before the snow foam dries. And when I looked at the cars after, the Yaris looked pretty good. All that sticky sap had gone. But there was still plenty of dirt on the door of the Fiesta, which was not particularly great results, to be honest. So I'll give both cars a second coat of snow foam. But this time I give both cars a good rub down with a microfiber mitt. So effectively using the snow foam as a shampoo. Both cars then got another good rinse. Before being dried with a microfiber towel. I wasn't too worried about the Yaris, that cleaned up pretty well just with the snow foam. As you can see here, the roof looks good. You can see the reflection of the tree there. And all that sap's gone. 
And if we pan out, you can see the driveway and the pressure washer reflected in the doors there. After the first cut, I was more concerned about the Fiesta, but you can see that's now cleaned up nicely. That's the door that was covered in mud before. And if we look at the roof, look at that, look at the reflection in that, it's excellent. And if we take a look at the other side, you can see it's come up really well. Quite pleased with that. So, does Vortex Blast get the thumbs up? It's certainly cheap and it gives you a nice thick foam. But as a snow foam, it doesn't have anything like the cleaning power of, say, for example, built Hamber's Auto Foam, although that is much more expensive. I must stress that. If your car's not too heavily soiled, yeah, this works okay. I actually found it was better as a shampoo, though, and that's how I'm going to use it in future. I'm going to use the Auto Foam as a first stage, and then I'm going to use this as a shampoo as a second stage. I might as well, I've got over two litres of this stuff sitting in my garage now. So it should last for ages. So I do hope you found this useful. If you have, please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. We'll see you soon.